Um, hey. So, figured I'd try another Iwi diary, because it's been a while. Again, showing you the Iwi not quite at its best, because I'm still learning. And I just wanted to show you guys, though, how I'm doing a lot of my learning these days. So, right now, we've got the split camera thing going on. I can't quite see how it looks like, but hopefully you can see me here. But mostly you can see the main screen, which is my Wii U Joy Sound Karaoke U system. So I have a Japanese Wii U. And one of the nice things about the Japanese Wii U is that you can connect to the Japanese Joy Sound Karaoke Network. And you can play karaoke, which is cool. They have this in Europe, although I understand the European version doesn't have quite so many songs. You know, it's something on the order of a thousand or two thousand songs, maybe, you know, a decent amount of popular songs. In Japan, that number for just this game system version of Joy Sound is actually along the lines of 70 or 80,000 songs, significantly more. And of course, a lot of Japanese songs. Of course, I'm a dork, and I know a lot of anime songs, especially from the 90s and 2000s, because that was the time that I watched a lot of anime in college like that. Um, so I've got my Joy Sound Wii U. I've got my Wii U gamepad over here. Hopefully you can see that. And with it, I can choose various songs. And instead of using a microphone to actually do the karaoke, I've got my Iwi plugged in to Joy Sound. And actually, it's not plugged in, but it's actually broadcasting the sound wirelessly to a receiver. And that receiver is hooked up to my Wii U via a rock band, uh, no, not a rock band, a Rocksmith guitar cable. So I have Rocksmith for PlayStation 3, and that cable actually works on Joy Sound for Wii U, and it detects it as if it's a microphone, but instead of being a microphone, it's my Iwi. Uh, so I'm gonna play a little bit here. This is actually the new Iwi, the Iwi 5000. Um, it's a little bit different from the Iwi 4000 in that it's trying to be more acoustic instrument oriented. It has samples instead of, you know, analog type synthesis. So it has a, in my opinion, not as great a sound. Um, not a lot of acoustic instruments actually sound very good, except for maybe this flute patch, which I think is pretty reasonable. <laughs> Well, it's okay. It's actually got some echo on it, I think mostly because Joy Sound is creating the echo. I'm gonna start playing around with this and put in a song. Uh, today is November 12th, and yesterday, besides being Veterans Day, was also the day of the release of Sega's Valkyria Chronicles for the PC. It's been out for a number of years on PlayStation 3, where it's sort of acquired cult status. Um, I'm going to play the opening song for it. The opening song is a song by um, a Sony artist, Juju, called uh, Donani Toku Temo, which is uh, not in the American version, presumably because of licensing. But whatever. I'm going to go and click on this thing and start up this song. And let's see how it sounds like, because I am gonna play this with me being pretty raw. I haven't practiced yet today. Let's see, where is this? Here we go. So basically I searched for this song. I actually have it in my history. And now all I have to do is hit that nice big red button in order to, you know, get that thing queued up. And instead of singing along to the song with a microphone, I'm going to try playing my Iwi with it. Just to show you the audio detection, I'm going to switch the stage. Instead of being one of those fun graphic stages or one of those video montages that you might see um, in a karaoke space, um, it's going to be actually sort of like a, a rock band type uh, vocal role. All right, let's go.
let's just pause that thing instead of going to the menu. Um, yeah, maybe I should have uh, warmed up a bit, but whatever. Probably going to keep on going with this for a while. Um, yeah, that's the opening for Valkyria Chronicles. And it's you can kind of hear the stuff that I'm dealing with right now. Um, I'm trying to do stuff in more complicated keys than I was um, uh, earlier in the year, you know. Earlier in the year, a lot of the songs that I was doing were things in you know, C major, A minor, F major, um, you know, where it's just one or two accidentals. Um, nowadays, this, I'm trying to, well, I'm purposely choosing songs that are in these more difficult keys. So more difficult keys on the iwi, um, and by more difficult, I mean just um, harder to shift between different permutations of, uh, of fingers on the fingerboard. Um, you don't just have to go sequentially up. I have to think about, oh, all these fingers down for this note. The next, um, the next note up on the scale, it's actually all these. And now my right hand is totally off the fingerboard. Um, this one is an A flat major. Uh, besides that, I'm also trying a bunch of different songs in C sharp major or B flat minor, which is you know, seven sharps. Um, if you want to know the key signature for that. Um, and with all those sharps and flats, um, I have to think about, uh, I have to think about my fingers more. And I, you know, sometimes I get it right and sometimes I find myself fumbling with it. Um, one of the nice things about this thing is I can actually, uh, slow down the tempo of this. So I'm actually going to, uh, restart the song and sort of show you um, uh, shifting the tempo on this thing because that's been really useful for me as a teaching tool. So it's like, hey, do I want to end the song or do I want to start from the beginning? I want to start from the beginning. I'm going to turn off the webcam mic again, at least for a bit. So yeah, that's kind of the stuff that I'm doing. Uh, it takes me a while, honestly, to get into that mode of you know really thinking intensely about each individual note. Um, I kind of uh, fumbled around at the beginning of this thing, even uh, with the slower tempo, just because I wasn't in that mode. And then after a while, um, you know, my brain starts thinking about all the little things that are going on. Uh, what does it mean to go? Um, to break that octave, how should I move my fingers in order to accommodate the next note? And really thinking about hitting that note fast, even though the song isn't going very fast at all. You know, my brain has to always be on for this. I mean, I've, I've still only played this thing for about a year now. 
So, you know, I've got to keep my brain working on that. You know, it's, it's kind of a funny thing. I know the limitations of my fingers and having to build up physical virtuosity, but still the big limitation on actually playing this thing well is actually my brain and keeping focused on the music making uh, happening there in the brain as opposed to just what's going on physically. So yeah, uh, I guess that's my Iwi Diary for today. You know, first one in a while. And thanks for watching.